everyone, it's vlog time again, woo! As you all know, I am Francesca. Well, I hope you know, and if you don't, well, now you do. Anyway, this week I want to be a little bit more serious, I guess, in that I want to talk about uh, Assembly Summer 2014, which is a uh, event, a gaming event that happens in Finland where they have multiple tournaments. And this event was big news in the gamosphere this week. I know this vlog is probably a little bit late for this news, but anyway, big news in that they basically um, posted their tournament rules for the tournament. And the way it was currently set up was that there was a male competition where you could play Dota 2, Starcraft, Hearthstone, and um, Ultra Street Fighter 4. Uh, and there was a female competition where you could just play Starcraft 2 and Tech and Tag tournament. So women weren't allowed to enter the Dota 2 tournaments, the Hearthstone tournaments, and the Ultra Street Fighter 4 tournament, just like, whoops, just like men weren't allowed to enter the Tech and Tag tournament too, tournament. And basically people found out about this and weren't too impressed, to be honest, as to why there were this, for example, the stuff like Hearthstone, which is a, a, a card game. There's no kind of quick reflexes. It's all about mental ability. Why there was a segregation where women weren't allowed to enter, but men were. And obviously the internet kind of took this and ran with it. Uh, and the problem, the problem really is that the, um, the, the, the organizers of this, this whole tournament um, and event came back and what they said was that the decision, this is a, a quote, the decision to divide male and female competitors was made in accordance with international sports authorities as part of our effort to promote esports as a legitimate sport. As legitimate as a legitimate sport. So yeah, let me just quote that again. Um, so they did it to promote esports as a legitimate sport. So if women are allowed to enter the Hearthstone 2 tournament, then we are illegitimizing it as a sport. So if we're playing that somehow illegitimizes Hearthstone as an eSport and people won't take us seriously. That was the reasoning behind it. Um, and notably people got kind of pissed off with this. I mean, I got kind of, I was just, I just, I didn't know what to say. Like, I didn't really know how to react. I just, it doesn't make logical sense. I mean, fair enough in physical sports. In physical sports, men are at a distinct advantage because men have high, higher testosterone and lower estrogen, which allows them to perform better at physical activities. That's why men are generally stronger than women. That's fair enough. There's biological constraints there that mean it makes sense that I should not compete in the same um, division group as men because I am biologically inferior. Fair enough, okay? That's that's fine. But when it's stuff like video games, why are we segregating people? Like, what, what kind of logic is there? I mean, if women, if anyone, to be honest, if anyone wants to compete in these kind of esports at a professional level, at a competitive level, why are you stopping them? Like, I mean, fair enough with, I guess, the StarCraft 2 tournament where there's like a male one and a female one. So like, you can compete if you want, but, Dota 2 and, and Hearthstone. Nope, nope, sorry, can't do it, can't do it, not allowed, not allowed, sorry. And the thing with like, for example, Dota 2, it's like when you make people compete, because it's a team-based sport, when you make people compete um, in a competition that's segregated by gender, the problem there is then that your team has to be all of one gender. So even if there's one really good, really good Dota 2 player, she can't, she can't compete unless she has a full team who's also equally good. Um, she can't join some kind of like men's team because you know that would be frowned upon. Now, God, God forbid, women came along and illegitimized our esports. And this is this is what stresses me out. It's like people are all for women becoming more and more integral in the gaming scene. People like women in gaming is is an up and coming thing, and it's it's being supported, and especially women in professional gaming. But when you are purposefully putting like blockades and walls in the way of this kind of progress. It just seems so counterintuitive that that you can't just say, hey, yeah, you sure you can compete even though you have ovaries and occasionally push out a child? Like, oh my God, give me strength. But the thing is, so there was this big uproar and the result of it, it was they kind of backtracked an awful lot and kind of said, you know, we don't really want to segregate women so much. So what they basically did was they've left the female competitions as they are. You saw female StarCraft 2 and female Tag and Tag Tournament 2. Uh, however, the, the male tournaments are now open to all. So the women still have their own division that they can play in if they want, 
which is a little bit like, mm. um, and the men and women can then play together at the same level. Now the thing is, like, people say, oh, well, now you're segregating and giving women an advantage because, like, uh, why don't they play, like, why do men have their own tournament and women and then a uh, all for one and blah, 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 and then we're getting disgustingly politically correct and stressing me out. But the thing is, at the end of the day, I think it's good at, at, at this point in esports, I think it's good for women to have opportunities to play. They should have... That was weird. My uh, Ethernet cable just jumped off the desk onto the floor. Anyway. Women should have opportunities to play. And they should have opportunities, I guess, the, the way I see it, well, at least this way, they have an opportunity to play at their own level and at a higher, uh, like a more competitive level. Not that women are bad at games, no, that's not what I'm saying. But there are fewer women in the high level esports scene so at the end of the day if we've got opportunities that's going to encourage more people into it however i don't think we should be excluded like if <sighs> overall i think that it should always be an all all in one like women men and women should play in the same tournaments that's what i believe um when it comes to video games i think that starting to introduce like male and female tournaments is a step in the right direction but it's still the segregation that i feel is is in in a lot of ways unnecessary um, so yeah, that's, that's just kind of my thing with, with this Assembly Summer 2014 thing. I just, oh, it stressed me out. It stressed me out a little bit because, I mean, I'm not very good at Hearthstone, but if I wanted to play Hearthstone competitively in Finland, I should bloody well be allowed to, based on my gender. Oh, Jesus Christ. But it just, it just seemed kind of, kind of stupid. And you keep having these kind of things where if you have a justifiable reason for what you're doing, then fair enough. But when you're telling us that women illegitimize the integrity of esports you know you're gonna get a, you're gonna have repercussions this is like how when ubisoft announced assassin's creed unity and people said hey you know it's multiplayer why aren't there any women and i mean they could have said that that's not the artistic direction they want to take the game in that they'd already worked hard on developing for the characters um that they were happy with in the setting and how they interacted like i'm, I'm not so fussed that i don't think women need to be in all games but ubisoft come back and say yeah, it would cost too much money to put women in the game, so, you know, we're not gonna do it. Like, it would cost too much money for this, like, very, very rich uh, publisher who already has women in an Assassin's Creed game to put women in the game because they'd have to hire voice actors and blah, 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 blah. But, I mean, you'd have to hire voice actors to begin with, so, yes, retroactively, it would cost more to put women in the game, but... It's just, it's just a fluff excuse, like, women are too expensive to put in games because we don't have models and textures and blah 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 Like, if you can legitimately give a reason for why you're doing something, that's fine. That's fine if it's just you just wanted to have male characters and because, like, you felt like they fitted with your French Revolution theme and that they were... They just worked together well and that's it. You didn't really consider gender an issue when you made your characters. You know, fine, fine. That's fine. I'm still going to play your game. I mean, I'm going to play their game anyway, but it's just freaking bullshit excuses by companies and tournaments and people as to why there are these gender differences and I don't like going off on one about gender and women and, and whatnot I feel like I'll just do my best and hopefully things will improve but in this case I just I just felt like I should say something and just you know question it question why why I'm not allowed to do well I am now but why I wouldn't be allowed to enter tournaments because because I have ovaries. Be the, the, the events feel the need to to exclude me because I, like I say, make esports considered less professional. That, that pisses me off because I like my MOBAs and if I ever wanted to be pro, I would like to have that option. Thank you very much. Anyway, we'll move on to a lighter, a lighter topic. I, I've decided that at the end of my, some of my vlogs, it's not going to be every vlog, but occasionally I just want to talk about other YouTubers. YouTubers who you guys might not know about, who I think are, they need a little bit of love and a little bit of attention because they're similar to us in that they're they're just growing and up and coming and also who just make great content. Um, so today I'm going to feature a guy who is, oh my god, his voice, it will give you like an autonomous sensory meridian response. It's, it's like, it's like eargasms. Uh, and that is the Sparrow's Journey. So I'm going to put a link like here somewhere um but Sparrow's Journey he's just like a fantastic all-round guy he's just really genuine really like a genuine person which is like nice to see his his voice and his accent is absolutely adorable and you know he's cute to boot but beyond all that he's just 
a great entertainer and a great YouTuber. Um, and I think he deserves more attention. I mean, I don't think these vlogs get viewed by particularly many people, but if you're here and are interested, please do go and show his vlogs and his content some love too. Um, see, see if you like it. I mean, I'm sure it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I give him a thumbs up, a generous approved thumbs up. So yeah, that is it from me for today. Uh, comment wise, you can tell me what you think of the Sparrow's Journey. You can tell me what you think of this whole women segregation thing, whether you think that I should uh, shut up and get along with the giveaway as someone on Twitch so kindly, kindly stated. Um, what you what you basically think about the whole the whole issue i mean do you think do you think that women should be segregated in video games the way they are in um more physical based sports um like what do you think let me know as always you can subscribe to the channel we're nearly on 4,000 subscribers and please subscribe uh also you can find us on facebook facebook.com forward slash the killer bits and on twitter if you're into twitter which i am then at the killer bits um what else do I have to say? You can find my Twitter uh, at Jagaris, and like I mentioned, I have a Twitch. My Twitch is twitch.tv forward slash Jagaris. Can't even remember these things, and it's that easy. But anyway, that's been it from me. Check out Sparrow's Journey. Let me know what you think about this kind of segregation issue in esports tournaments, and enjoy the rest of your day. Try and be good. It can't be good. Don't be bad. It's been lovely having you, and it's Mario time. Yeah.